We are going to make frikadella, which is a Danish meatball. But the main thing I think really make sure when you make it is that you buy good ground pork, not to exceed more than 20% fat. Let's start. I think I'll do the most messy job first, that is to grate the onion. So I just have an old fashioned grater here and you just grate it, put it on a plate. So the next part is, even if you don't have a hand mix or a KitchenAid mixer, you can just even just mix it with an old fashioned wooden spoon. That's what my mom did. So what we do now is just add the onions to here. Get all the juice out there. And then the eggs. I just, you know, just pop the egg yolks. flour and so I add flour and breadcrumbs and these are the different spices yeah pepper and here are a couple of dashes of both red pepper and allspice and salt and then I'll start mixing this slow with just a little bit. This is half and half. And when you make frigadella after you've done it for a long time, you kind of, well, you can follow a recipe, but sometimes you have to, you know, judge. Does it need a little bit more milk or, or cream or does it need a little bit more flour? I don't know. So I'll just start out a little slow to we get it. So I'm just I do never pour all of it in at one time because I will see what the consistency and it may be that I use less. It has to be firm enough so that I can form them. It can't be so they just run out. Okay, let's just. I could also add just a little bit more breadcrumbs and a little bit more flour if I wanted to, but I don't want it any thinner, if that's a, any more loose, I think it'll be. The next step now is to make and form the frigadella and brown them and cook them so they are all done. And so we are going to use just about, huh, no more than this, maybe just a little bit of butter. So what I do at home, I just Take some of the on a plate. Easier to work with than a big bowl. And make sure you don't, as if buttered can easily burn. And to prevent it from burning, you can add a couple of drops of oil. So let's just get the but it's now melted, just needs to brown, just light brown. I usually dip my spoon in water because I want the, the meatballs to be, a little frigadella here to be kind of has a nice smooth outside. So you just kind of Now you can see it is getting brown. So then I could usually just add a little bit of oil to prevent it from, and we'll turn down the heat here. So 
these are meatballs the size I would serve for a dinner. Okay, that's about as many as I would put in the pan for now. So now they gotta stand brown and cook for about five minutes. As you can see, these are getting a little on the dark side. That's the right color of a fricadella. That one is, I would say, a little too dark. Just a little bit on the dark side. So we have just fried and done our frigadella, and we are going to add some lettuce salad to it. And then find the famous Danish bread that we all can hardly live without. So I have already just buttered the bread, and in Denmark they always say you got to make sure you get all the way out to the edge. And the butter, what that does is more or less, if you put anything on top, you prevent the juice or whatever else to drain in. So let's just put a couple of pieces of bread there, and then we'll take two frigadella, which is, most people could not eat much more than that. So put these on, and then we'll take just a mixed salad. You can add whatever dressing you want to it. These are very common things that we all eat with our frigadella. Like you have a pickled beets, put that on. These here are cucumbers, you know, English cucumber, you just pickle a couple, an hour before and put up, and they really taste wonderful. And this here is Asia. And we'll just put a couple of slices there. And a couple of little onions with it. So that's your lunch 